Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, if you're wondering why I have the British flag up, it's because Prince William and Catherine just happened to be in L.A. Going Hollywood. So for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And dismal jobs picture complicates debt talks and means Obama gets his new job stimulus programs. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love this, folks. I mean, we'll put it this way. The, the, this is so ridiculous that leapfrog Obama has flew the coop because he didn't even want to be on camera anymore. But this man has now this morning said that we need to close those loopholes for those millionaires and billionaires and take that money and use it for a jobs program to fix the infrastructure, to train people, this and that. And then they basically pointed out, in other words, not a penny of it's going to go to cutting the debt. And they said, well, we can't afford to, to stop what we're doing now, you know, because the economy is in such bad shape. They're using, Obama is using the bad jobs thing to try to convince people he has to spend more money, which is keeping businesses from hiring people. But don't worry, the Democratic Party today has figured that one out. We now must have shared sacrifice from those people that aren't paying their fair share of taxes, that aren't millionaires and billionaires. Because you want to help that person that's less fortunate than you. They're now hitting the 50% of people that don't pay taxes. They're going to start charging them taxes, folks. And there are no cuts in the Democratic budget. There is, uh, down the line, when, they reset, when this problem is, they did say recession. They did. They did say recession this morning. When this recession is completely over, we can talk about cutting the budget. Uh huh. Tax cuts, ne tax hikes never go away. And uh, the Republicans are basically steamed because they were going to be had. Everybody but the Republican leadership knew the guy was. If he tells you, I want tax, if he tells you, I want to make serious cuts in the deficit, you know he's telling you I'm not going to make any cuts in the deficit. Mm -hmm. And he got read the riot act yesterday by Pelosi, who's... Oh, he did? Yeah, Pelosi said, uh, you're telling us that it's a, you're telling us that you have no intention to cut, and since you told them you do, which is the real truth? And Atlantis successfully launches and signifies the end of an era. Uh, yeah. Muslims do not believe in space travel. He's shutting down. The, he's shutting down NASA. To uh, it basically, it's going to be nothing more than an educational organization to educate the Americans on how much the Muslims have helped us and on global warming. With aerospace, everything, space exploration is done under this president, and he's going to put. Uh, he's, eight, uh, he's going to take Titusville, Florida, is going to become a ghost town because of this president. Prince William and Catherine, otherwise known as the Duke and Duchess, go Hollywood. Yeah, they go Hollywood with uh, Beckman and maybe one other person. <laughs> That's not going. They they went to the Variety Summit, of which only executives like Sir Howard Stringer were allowed. We were invited to come, folks, and we didn't bother with it. And if we'd have bothered with it, they'd have told us we couldn't have came after we'd been approved because of the fact that nobody is being allowed near. And they said, well, look at all those people milling around them in the shots. No, when they take an overhead shot, there's nobody there. It's just a lot of people bunched together to make it look like there's more people that are there. Yeah, and if you looked at the shots from where they were to how close the people were, let's just say across, what, six lanes on a, on a road? Yeah, uh, well, they go, here, and, you know, I, I really... I'm glad that I got to see the prince and the, the duchess only 20 feet away from me. That is a reporter. A, a mainstream reporter had to be I 20 foot away. Yeah. Which means they walked by. They walked by. And they walked by, you know, uh, so far that you basically can, uh, 20 feet, I mean... We get a better view watching the television. Yeah. And flat jobs data signal we can... Weakest recovery ever because of Bush and the Republicans. Tax breaks for the millionaires and billionaires. I know. Isn't that, isn't that how that comes out every single time? That it is the... Okay, if you are worth a quarter of a million dollars, which basically anybody that owns a house in this country is, you are automatically a millionaire according to Barack Obama and the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, I mean... Uh, Monty's a millionaire because she's got that much in kibbles, actually, folks. But uh, 
No, but it is ridiculous. And but don't worry, folks. The president swore on a stack of Bibles that I would see no. But, but remember, he's not going to do it. The Senate is going to pass the taxes. And most Americans now support gay marriage, but can't legalize it. Yeah. They don't want you to become there. I mean, they are flat out adamant against the legalization of it. They said it's all, go have a civil ceremony, yes. Anything else, and they go ballistic. So, I mean, it's Obama, Obama is refusing to come forth and saying that he supports a complete gay marriage because he knows that, they, I mean, okay, how ridiculous is it they represent a total and absolute minority of a minority's minority and he has pushed them to the front that they must have rights above and beyond anyone else in this nation. And, and you know, I mean, I'll go back to something I heard Jesse Helm say once. He said, if they'll admit this is an illness, I'll sit there and fight to my last breath to get them covered under the Disabilities Act. But it's not an illness. They tell us it's a lifestyle choice. So mm -hmm. you're granting people rights for a lifestyle choice, not because of any other reason. That is. You know, how, okay, what about the guy that wants to, what, I think, kid, you know, adults and kids are next, folks, because that's a lifestyle choice. Mm -hmm. And most Americans now support gay marriage, but can't legalize it. Oh, yeah. well, I guess we talked about that. As ex aid arrested, pressured Cameron Bell's media reform. Well, they already have media reform. Basically, you can't say anything negative in England anymore. Oh, really? The only place you can say anything negative is the British allow you to go out and stand on a soapbox. You can do that. Do they literally stand on a soapbox? You literally stand on a soapbox and you can, you can talk to the masses in Trafalgar Square. But you cannot say anything negative in print. You cannot say anything negative in, a, in, a, in on the line, on the internet, because it can get you thrown into jail. They can say it's a, they do not permit negative statements to be made about anything in England. They, you say it, you go to jail or you get fined a lot. I mean, they, remember years ago they, they called um, Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood gay. They considered that a negative statement and they ended up paying millions of dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Gay, and of course, talking about gay, gay marriage will save the housing industry. Oh, I love that one. There will be, there's so many gay people that want to rush out and get married. Uh, here's a good one last night. The Democrats' latest polling said that the majority of they said that 99% of the gay males do not want to get married. <laughs> they said the only ones that are in favor of gay marriage are the lesbians. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't that a good one? Why? Because the male, okay, I, they had a gay guy on last night. He said, he, he, he said, if I wanted to get married, I would just went out and married some woman. Mm -hmm. Said if I didn't want to do that for the sake of um, you know of, uh, you know of propriety, why would I want to go marry some guy? He said and, he, and they asked him, well, what's your excuse going to be? Then you know with the guy you're going out with, he said, well, I'm moving to Texas in order to try to lead the movement for gay marriage. And then they said, oh, then the, or Ari said, I'm going to use the Brad Pitt move. I'm not going to get married unless till every state in the United States approves of gay marriage. They said males do not want to get married. And that basically defeats oh. the whole purpose of gay marriage now, doesn't it? Oh, I hadn't thought about it that yeah. way. And that's something because there's more males than there are females out there. And rockets push back rebels south of Libyan cap capital. Yeah, that, okay. They're they're on the the Okay, the African Union is now supporting Muammar Gaddafi because Obama pushed everybody's buttons when he decided to have the world court say that we're going to arrest Gaddafi and his family and try him for murder. Well, they, they said, no, you're not. So now they're basically under the table supplying all kinds of military hardware, which means this, this war is going to be over in a matter of days. It's now going to go on for years probably because he can't surrender. They're going to, he knows Obama has already decided he's going to be executed, so. And because of Bush and the Republicans, people are worried about being able to play croquet on the weekends. Yeah, he actually said that yesterday. What? Is that? I mean, the guy, they, they said that somebody has to have, the, what is not available is a foot in the mouth czar for Obama. I mean, this guy is so clueless that he thinks that the working class play croquet on the weekends. And because they're because they know because of the high tax because of the tax breaks they gave for millionaires and billionaires, 
they don't have the time to spend playing croquet on the weekends with their children now. Um, I didn't know. <laughs> I, 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 I used to play croquet, but I remember, I remember my, my family are, they got their nose stuck up in the air, so <laughs> we love to play croquet. But that seems like a long time ago. It's like I didn't know people still did that. Yeah, but he thinks that people, he, he, he is so far out of touch with the working class. Remember, he's not working class, folks. Yeah. And South Sudan becomes the world's newest nation. Yeah, which, the, okay, Obama, instead of doing something to solve the problem and, and for the Sudanese, he just pushed along the fact, well, we'll, we'll divide the country into pieces, and these people can have this one, and then we don't have to worry about the slaughter until the people that have the military move over into the other part and take the country back again. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, it, it's been simple. We just got some new software yesterday. And, you know, if you don't provide instructions to how to use the software, then how do you use the software? 